Holy Ghost. Um. Looking for trouble. Let me start with, I think it was uh, this person from uh, 13 now. Before he became provincial supporter at Gada. Joshua was by the door doing uh, ushering work. Probably he has loaded the stomach with uh, pandemium and goosey uh, <laughs> soup. And that spirit was coming. You think it's only people who come to church? It's not. So many people come. And he didn't know. The person who saw it, before the person said, hey, 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 it's in us. Pass through the usher. They just heard, boom. The guy fell. Usher must have what? Holy Ghost. You've not seen where they are laid hands and you say you are usher. You didn't have Holy Ghost and you went to join them to hold people. And the thing come out from that person, he gets placed to enter. And the person got delivered. You, you go home with what? The load of somebody. Yes. Holy Ghost. And of course, when they are doing the deliverance in church, and those evil spirits are coming in and out, their spirit, they, they can see. So they know the people that are available. What do you think they are likely to, to do? They wait outside. Should be people have turned inside the church to, to fire. And they wait outside. Once they finish service and people are going home, and they look for the one that is free. And what would did they do? They jump inside. That's why it's good. You must be filled with what? With the Holy Ghost. That's why you find in those days, children, children, children church, pastors go there regularly to what? To pray for them. So that they don't carry load that is not their own. They don't carry it home. This craving should be what? Continuous. Somebody read for us Isaiah 55, verse 1. Isaiah 55, verse 1. It should be continuous. It's not just one of something. Oh, what? Uh -huh. Come and buy. Just be thirsty. Once you are thirsty, you, you get filled. You get filled. And there's so many great people like Moses, like Paul. Oh, Paul did wonders with the Holy Ghost. They lock him up with silence. They don't have guns. They don't have anything. But they have praises. What do they start doing? They start singing. And what happened? Everything turned upside down. It's even the people who jailed them who became afraid. And they had to calm them down that don't worry, don't worry. We are here. We are not going anywhere. We know if we run, they will kill you, so we are here. Look at the walls of Jericho. Have you ever imagined the wall of Jericho? How it looks like. They say the house of Rahab was on top of the wall. So you can imagine a wall that somebody can build house, put his own house on it. That means the wall should be wide enough to, to drive on comfortably. They didn't use sword. They didn't use anything. What did God ask them to use? Praises. Praises. And before you know it, what happened to the war? He fell. Who say you can't sit with those issues and be praising God? But you know why it won't fall? There is no Holy Ghost. 
Once there is no Holy Ghost, what you'll be doing will be what? Singing. It won't be praising. It'll just be singing. And that's why most times I, I wonder the kind of Christianity we, uh, we display these days. Do you know that when you pick the album of any musician, you know what that person is filled with. You know it. Whether the person is filled with the Holy Ghost, or the person is empty, or the person is filled with demons. You know it. And unfortunately, what most of us don't know is that what you release into the atmosphere while singing is the kind of grace you carry. And that's why you find that without disturbing anybody, without any wala or anything, what begins to happen to people over the years that some kind of music were released, they don't dress well, they become rebellious. And their behavior begin to turn like some people. Why? The demons that are released from the music you listen to. They don't need to preach to you to become a more No. You just need to listen to some kind of song. And if you sit on it, what happens? Your life begins to pattern like that. Why? As you are listening to that music, you begin to get loaded with the spirit from that music. Go on with it. The same thing, you want to grow, you want to enjoy the presence of God. Ah, it's not a problem. Put ministration from Somebody who is filled with the Spirit of God. It's not necessary. It's not that the person call himself a Christian or not. No. You can be singing, praising the Lord always, and nothing is coming out of you. It's just empty. I told us, yes, sometimes I was, uh, I was driving, so I put... Uh, this guy, this guy that plays Nathaniel Bassi. So I finished, I actually left out that day with about two or three CDs because I'll be out for a long time. So I finished his own, I remove it and put another down one. I didn't listen in five minutes, I just, what kind of a song is this one? And it's supposed to be a good Christian song. But I didn't, the, the song was, doesn't carry anything. It was empty. Very empty. And I know nobody told me, I just don't want to do to do. <laughs> I beg. I just returned my Nathaniel. So you must be careful what you feel yourself in. With. Okay. So you must test for it. You must test continually. And uh, once you do that, you get filled and we will be filled in Jesus' name. Okay, let's move to lesson outline two. Qualification for and the effect of the anointing. Now the qualification first. How do we become qualified? Anointing. How? We do believers class. Have we? We do baptismal class. Then we do workers in training. Then we do, what do we do again? School of Disciples. Then we do Bible College. Then we'll become qualified. Is that the, the answer? No. You can do all those and you have nothing. You just have certificate, paper. Just paper, paper. And one day, the person who carries grace 
will come and embarrass all of you. Because it will, it will be obvious. It will be very obvious. Once somebody says, those that know they are God, Daniel now, they will be strong. They will do exploits. You know, redeem as uh, this thing uh, media people always do. They always uh, put somebody in trouble now. Redeem has plenty hierarchy. Huge one. Big, no, it's a big church now. Huge. So to grow through that hierarchy, ah, it's a, it's a big one now. Not even now that you have uh, over 100 provincial pastors in Lagos alone. So if the general, the general overseer are now called the meetings of provincial pastors, you know how many number of people. But you remember the day Pastor Abraham first preached in the, in the camp? Huh. Ah. It was like, ah. Of course, you trust me now. I don't allow people like that to run in a way. Hey, bros, come. Come here. <laughs> From that day, he ran into trouble. Those that he was not knocking, they were opening it for him. Those that he was not even interested in knocking, they were, ah, please, come and take this. Please take this request. Oh, yeah, take this, take. Now, for you to find him now. Uh, meanwhile, some people are pursuing those doors. And they can't find it. You know the, the difference? They are anointing. Anointing. How do you get qualified for it? Like Saul, they unworthy. You know, people that you know, they unworthy. They unworthy. You know when Robert Liadin, the man that wrote uh, God's genera, his first vision of heaven at seven. And that was the first book. I saw heaven at seven. Meanwhile, his pastor that has, uh, has not seen anywhere. Probably he has seen uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, and not those stops. But the young boy in children's class saw heaven. And he was able to give a vivid analysis how it looks like. And from that point, you know that the hand of God is on this man. They are worthy. They supposedly ordinary people. So it's not by rank. No. It's not by age. It's not by title. It's not by position. But can you test after it? Can you test after it? I met one woman in the north. We normally have a prayer program every first three days of the month, then early in the morning. Sometimes you come for prayer and you are you are tired. You know, those you don't really feel like praying. But somehow I got to notice that when I stay close to where that woman is, or I'm able to just see her praying you will be ignited to pray. So from the point I knew that, I don't bother. Once I come for money due, I just go and just, okay. I just stay in a place where I can see. You just need to see, not hell. You just need to see her praying. You will catch fire. That's the anointing. You know, funny, I thought I was the only one. Years later, all of us have 
scattered there and there. And she was, they were celebrating her on the group page. And I saw somebody wrote the same thing. That anytime we come for money due in those days, I just need to stay in a place where I can see her pray. And I will receive grace to pray. And I laugh. I say, that's an anointing. And you know the funniest thing? She was just a wife of one of the people who come for prayer. She was not any rank or any, just a wife of one of. The unworthy. Of course, the people the world call the foolish. People that you feel, uh, these people, oh no, they should not uh, embarrass us. People that we don't put in the fr 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 front. No. Now, what's that telling us? The anointing is for the humble. That's what that place is saying. It's for the humble. And that's why most times when I look at some of these our, our general overseers, uh, <laughs> these are our general overseers, them. <laughs> I don't need anybody to tell me. You don't have it. You don't have it. The anointing is for the humble. The more you grow in grace, the lower you become. The self abased, the humble. Of course, the anointing is for the just. Not for the person who is crooked. No. Not for bishops who are sleeping with a church member's wife. We don't have the anointing. Don't have it. Don't. And there are plenty now. There are plenty. Everywhere. <laughs> there are plenty now. <laughs> we still have one case in, in court. General of us here. <laughs> oh. God will have mercy on us. For the humble. You see why people like that, the Jew is always careful. God, he, he said God told him, the day you become too big for your shoe, he told him, he said, draw, draw the diagram of a man on the sand. He said, he drew it. He said, can you see it? He said, yes. Okay. Wipe it off. And he used his leg to wipe it off. He said, can you see it? He said, no, now I have to wipe it off. He said, can anybody come here and see it? He said, nobody can come. Now I have to wipe it off. He said, uh -huh. That's the way your memory will be when you misbehave. I'll wipe you off. Nobody will ever know you ever exist. <laughs> That's a serious one. That's a serious one. So the anointing is not uh, it's not show off. It's not. It's not child's play. It's not. You can't get that grace from God. One of the things you must you must be humble. Be humble. Very very humble. I don't want to call some people's name. We've had like, ah, it's, so, it, it's true. Ah. Where is it now, self? Is this the life? And in, ah. These are people that in those days, redeem, redeem. Oh. Those people can't be holding program. And redeem was also old program the same day. They won't have people that will come. Yes. Redeem was far off. But now, I was going to, I was going to was, uh, last week by Axis, that better side. And I saw one of the church, it was a Sunday morning. I saw one of the churches of that ministry 
on a Sunday morning. Big place. And I turned. And I saw the auditorium empty. Just few people. I was like, Jesus. This was a place in those days that there would be no space. There would be no space. The effect of the anointing. The anointing transforms the believer. He becomes another person. It's like Saul. So people saw Saul. They are like, ah, is Saul the Saul that we know? Is he also part of the prophet? The person gets transformed. You will now be you'll be wondering, is he the same person? person. You remember the, the few periods God will help, God will help the, the church oh, to be able to sustain what we carry. God will help us. So that we, we become more humble. Become more humble. Remember the day that uh, Baba was preaching and he has to tell the interpreter, please, can you shift? You remember that the interpreter should shift. That what is upon him now is a bit heavy. He should shift. I think the guy didn't get to hear quickly. So he was still trying to like, sir, what did you say? The next thing we just hear was that he was poor. On the floor. They have to bring somebody. Yes. <laughs> of course, you know, it's normal. When they bring somebody, yes. You know what happened? <laughs> that was <one. laughs> <I'll> just. <laughs> hey, bro, just. <laughs> just I can't. I can't. Start preach from here. Don't, don't worry. You preach. I will start preach. Yeah. Just stay like this. Because at that point, it's not the Adeboye that they are used to. It's not. My Zona pastor was with one of the elders one day, and Daddy Gio called him. And Baba picked the phone and knelt down in his own house. Phone call, phone, phone. He, he was in his own house. His phone rang and he saw that it was Daddy Gio who called him. And he knelt down to receive the call. <sighs> and my Zona pastor was looking at him that I say, <laughs> So when he finished the call, he now asked him, Daddy, why do you have to kneel down? The person who called you is not here. He's in his house now. Why do you kneel down here? Ah, you can't understand. You see the way we kneel down for him in his presence. Let's kneel down for him behind him. Oh. He's not a human being. Oh. The anointing, you become transformed. I always encourage people, go to camp. Baba is going, no. Baba is going. Go and get as much as you can get. Go and get it now. Man is going, no. You know, so many of us don't, we don't really know him because we are not that close to him. We just see him on the stage. What he carries is is heavy. We don't want another case of Elijah that was buried and anointing was still in his bone. We don't want that one. No. We want the one that we will tap everything. Do they need to bury anointing? It's of no use in the grave. Go and tap as much as you can tap before that man goes home. Man is going on. And what he carries, <laughs> what he carries is not small. It's not small. 
You may not be able to see him physically. But you see, when you stay under somebody's ministration and you are thirsty for what that person carries, you will get it too. You will get it. All you need is be thirsty for what that person carries and be focused. You will get it. Get it. Of course, for those who did the school of disciples, anointing can be transferred through convention, conduction, and radiation. You will get it. Go and buy his tapes and sit down and begin to sink it in and focus on him. You will get it. You will get plenty. Of course, if you want to get deep teachings of Daddy Jill, go and buy minister's conference. If you can lay your hand on solemn assembly, come by. What that man carries is not small. It's not small. You know it's not funny. This last, uh, I'm rounding up now. This last convention. So when the youth also were doing the drama. The people who mimic the former national of us here. What do they do? That he normally kneel down. That Baba kneels down to greet Daddy Gio anywhere. Anywhere. Whether in public, whether anywhere. An old man. You see an old man doing that kind of thing. Ah. What an old man sees. And you find small, small children. You know. You know something shocking happens during this convention. I think we were talking about it. When they were giving people a word. See, train your child the way he or she will go. Train! We must not lose opportunities. They were giving a word and Baba was shaking them. He was shaking them. And they were coming and they called those people. First, second, third. And the boy came and he shook Baba. The second one came. He shook Baba. And the third girl, the third girl came and stood there. And unfortunately for her, at that point, every person around looked the other way. And Baba stood, waiting for her to stretch her hand. And she didn't. And they called other people. And she just left. I was like, ha. Ah. What kind of fellow is this? And every other person on the stage at that time just looked somewhere else. They didn't focus on that to have been able to tell. When you should be doing exploits for Google God, as the Lord satisfied the test for anointing of David, he can do likewise for you. He can. So the anointing is not only for preaching. It's a what? To go about doing good. Good. Not to go about laboring. Not to go about suffering. 
No. Not to go about hustling. Mm -mm. You will go about doing good. And that's why he told us, whatsoever you lay your hand upon, we prosper. Why? You carry a kind of grace that makes you to go and do good. He said, wherever the sole of your foot will trample upon, I will give unto you as an inheritance. So you are supposed to go out to do good. Not to go out to fail. No. Not to go out to suffer. No. You're going out and you're coming in. I will bless. Your water, I will bless. He said, even your animal will not cast their young. You know why? You carry something that makes you to go out to do good. That's what the anointing does. So why shouldn't we, shouldn't we test for it? Why? Let's bow down our head and talk to God. Our time is fast spent. You are here this night. Do you want the anointing? You want the anointing. You want the anointing. It's it's for all. It's for everyone. It's not for a particular one. At that point, he had Holy Ghost, he had power, and he could see heaven at seven years old. Ah. Talk to God. I am here, Lord, touch me. I'm here, touch me. Touch me, fill my cup, Lord, fill it. Most times we just sing that song, fill my cup, Lord, I lift it. And you are not lifting anything up. You are not thirsty. He said, if you test, I will fill it up. No need to go and task it. You have to go out to do good. He's ready to order your step. He's ready to bless you. He's ready to empower you. Ready for action. You should always be ready for action. Ready for action. You are not supposed to be the kind of person that the enemy will oppress. No. You are not the one that the witches and wizards will be trampling upon. No. You are to be ready for action. Cry to him. Fill me up, Lord. Fill me up. The anointing is for all. It's for all. Fill me up. Fill me up. If you test... I fill you up. Or you may say you are not born again. Ah. You give your life to him, he will fill you up. The call is to all. Call unto me. All ye that labor and heavy laden. The call is to all. And I will give you rest. It is the anointing that breaks the yoke. It does not matter the yoke of the enemy upon your shoulder. The anointing can break it. Come. The call is to all. The call is to all. Begin to talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. You don't have much time. Talk to God. Feel me, Lord. Feel me. I shouldn't be ordinary. No, I should not be ordinary. I shouldn't. There are things in this world that are secrets. And that is why he told us in Deuteronomy, he said the secret things belong to our God. But there are some things that are revealed. Fill me up. So that I don't live by the letters of this world. I can live by revelations. Fill me up. Fill me up. Fill me up. Oh, it's Kalabosh. He can fill you, he can fill you, he can fill you. He's here. He's the baptizer. Baptizer is here. Oh, feel, cry to God, cry to God, cry to God. 
Test for it. Test for it. This is the baptizer. I'll fill you up. Nobody is too young, nobody is too old to be filled. Cry to God, fill me up. Fill me up. Jesus was just 12 when he began to teach leaders in the synagogue. Just 12. Go the power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. Fill me up. I don't want to be ordinary anymore. I want to go about doing good. In every area where good can be defined, I want to be going about doing good. I want my life to be recorded for a life of goodness. And that's why he told us, he said, goodness and mercy shall follow you. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. No exception. In the morning, goodness and mercy. In the afternoon, goodness and mercy. In the night, goodness and mercy. Why? You are filled up with the Holy Ghost. Fill me up, Lord. Fill me up. You can't have goodness and mercy following you and you will not go about doing good. It's not possible. If the journey of your life has been had, be filled with the Holy Ghost. The baptizer is here. He's here. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Righteous God, we want to say thank you. We bless you because you are a faithful God. Thank you because you are a covenant-keeping God. Lord, we ask in one accord this evening that you will fill us to the brim in the mighty name of Jesus. That you will anoint us afresh in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we overshadow our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. That henceforth, our life will not remain the same in the mighty name of Jesus. The power and the anointing to do exploit and to do great and mighty things for the kingdom. Father, you will release upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. We will never be an ordinary vessel again in the mighty name of Jesus. Every vacuum in our life, Jesus, we ask. That we fill it up with your power in the name of Jesus. Amen. We commit to your son you've used for us. We ask that more anointing you will release upon him in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every virtue that has gone out of him in multiple folds, you will return unto him in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And next time we will gather like this, Jesus, we will indeed see and know that you have done great and mighty things in our life in the name of Jesus. Even as we go from here, as many we will come in contact with, they will know indeed that we've encountered you in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, by yourself, you will pray for us. Thank you, righteous Father. 
For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Thursday is another day. It's a day for us to gather together and pray. The Bible said we should not forsake the garden of the brethren. So on Thursday, let's come like this. And as we pray, the Lord will answer our prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. After the grace, we can drop our offering here. Let's rise to our feet and share the grace. One to go. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall do in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord.